Hey guys, it's uncensored. Obviously, because this is my channel. So, I mean, yeah. But let's get to it. I found this. This finally, I found it. Okay, I finally found a. I almost said spider spawn. A skeleton spawner. Actually, I was running around in this mine shaft and just trying to find. Wait, yeah, no, I, I put the chest there. But, um, I was going around in this mine shaft and I found a zombie and a um in a spider spawn in a cave spider spawner. But I patched them. I just said screw it, I'm running by them. I don't want those. I want this one. And this is the one that is the most effective spawner. If you guys ever get a skeleton one, keep it. That's the one you want. You don't want I mean, if you're like still new at it and you get a zombie spawner, look up some videos on YouTube. Well yeah, you can do this. A skeleton spawner and a zombie spawner are exactly the same. The only difference is, well, one's a skeleton, one's a zombie. So yeah, let's get to the tutorial. I'm, I do mind the classic way of how you do a skeleton spawner. I don't know how you guys do them. But this is how I do it. And, um, well, to speed it up, I'm just going to, well, I'll fill that in later on. But that's how it got out. And, well, I'm going to head and skip ahead. And... I'll see you guys whenever I dig out that part, and that part, then I'll give you guys the dimensions. Okay, guys? Now, I've got it, okay? Well, this, now here's the dimensions. I think that I have a little too high. I don't, I don't think I do. I'm not sure. I don't know if it's too small or what, but it'll work. It'll work. And yes, it's gold, but I can't pick it up. I don't have an iron pickaxe. So, yeah. And I don't have my boots on because I don't feel like damaging them since I'm just mining. There's no reason to wear them. And it's unpeaceful, as you can tell. It's best to do it in a peaceful, because, well, you know, obviously you don't have to get shot up by mobs. And, sec and well, the thing is, you shouldn't always be playing on peaceful. You need to challenge yourself, okay? In Minecraft, it's just, you can't always be so easy and just go go with the flow. You gotta got challenge yourself, you know, you're building stuff. Mom, we have a mob come behind you, attacking, you know, just challenge yourself. And guys, I'm sorry for the audio. I'm using my headset microphone. I it's not that good. I have an actual microphone, but I don't have a PC. I was going to get one, but the, there was problems, and so I didn't get it. But, yeah. So, yeah, you guys have to just use listen to this audio right, right now. But, let's get to the actual spawner. But, yeah, I have a 7 high, which, a little bit, I don't know if it's too high, but, um, and I have it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, eight nine nine wide and well this one from the middle right here right here you gotta go out one two three four five six seven eight eight blocks out because that's how far water goes out so yeah uh now it's time to go this way man i really wish, really wish i had an iron pickaxe so i can mine that out man but now I'm just dig out this this middle sh this middle part right here. Dig out a little line right here. You don't do it too deep, and because um, why you want it too deep is so they don't get out, so the skeletons don't get out of the hole. Cause my had like on one of my other worlds, I had a problem. I don't know why it was happening. You guys can comment at the bottom why this was happening. I could not figure it out. I don't know what was going on. But the water would come out here on both sides. It's perfect. It w was all perfect. But for some reason, on the left side, I couldn't get out. I mean, that's how you're supposed to be. But on the right side, I can just jump straight out. I don't know why. It was just weird as heck. There's no reason. F I don't know why. But um, whenever you do this, you're going to have two buckets of water. And whenever you do this, you don't have to have an infinite water source. You just place it three and place it two blocks away from this one. So one, two, like that. Then you take the middle one out. And then just do the same thing. And now all that's infinite, right there. So you just keep doing that, don't try it way through. And look, see, it stops right there. We've made it nice. Okay, good. Now we're good. That part is done. That side. Uh, now water. But with this, you can get a lot of mobs. You probably get like three to four mobs spawning at once. So yeah, and that is insane. It's really freaking good. That's for sure. And um, at the end of this one, I'll go ahead and show off my s my cave spider spawner, which is practically the same exact way, kind of, just different because it's a cave spawner, cave spider spawner. But let me get another bucket. Actually, get two buckets. Yeah, you don't want to do it too fast, then it won't be infinite. I don't think. 
Uh, now, you're gonna place it right down there at the bottom. And that should go all the... Oh, wait. Oh, crap. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, yep, I got... Now, this is what you're gonna do. As it goes all the way down here, you can... Which, um, I think I made it too wide, but, I mean, it doesn't matter. Because I'm just gonna break this block. Do this. Give yourself some headroom. And then, bring it down to, right... There, I believe. So, yeah. You can go down too wide, or just... Too deep, I mean. Or you just have it like this. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Go with what you guys think is best. And then go out as far as it can. Until... The water just stops going. So you don't have to count blocks, just go till the water stops. Oh, there goes one pick. I think I'm here, I'm not sure. I'm just trying to guess. It, am I? Ah, nope, dang it. A few more blocks, or just this block. And then right here, um, you choose which side you want to go to. Go to the left, or go to the right. And make sure I have everything. Okay, yep, we're good. The, you don't need these, I just picked those up. But you need... Oh crap, wait. Um, let me go get some more water. And it's gonna take a while going up this, coming back. So yeah, I'll be right back here. Just, see so, yeah. I got it. And I just went ahead and thought about have that water come out all the way to right here. And then one air block, whatever, no water right there. And then just take out the water and then you can work freely and stuff. So yeah, saves you a lot of, yeah, slow water currents. Currents, they suck. Okay, now this one, I'm like combining two spawners together in one. For this one, you just, like, you know, yep, I already explained that part. But now right here, you want to put a, you want to put a, uh, right there, you want to put a sign, because you, you'll see why. And then you put water right here. Oh, oh, throw that. actually, wait, wait, before you do that, you can go to whatever side you're building to. I'm going to go to the left for me. Come behind this block, and then just start, and dig out a room back here. Big enough, no, as big as you want it to be, really. And, well, to, like, where you think it's comfortable and that stuff. And then you should be good. Just dig that for now. But, they will come right here. Wait, let me dig right here, actually, because the water's going to be right there. Yeah, you're going to be like this. Okay, now, you want Oh, wait, yeah, yeah, no, 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 I dug the room for right now. Make an infinite water source right over here. And then you do a diagonal, put some diagonal in, like that, and then woo, pick up more thing. Ah, uh, crap! I think I have more buckets, but no, no, I didn't. No, I didn't. Okay, now, <coughs> good. I don't know what that was, the sound, but we're good. Now you want to place another one right there, and yeah. And now why I said I'm like combining two of them together, I'm gonna bring it up. A few blocks. I'm not gonna go up 20. I'm not. I'm just gonna bring it over. I'm gonna bring it up a little bit and then over, and then make him drop right here. I don't make because I'm gonna have a crusher and the crusher's gonna crush him. Yeah. And this way is a way that I know that they all will get inside the this little spot I'm gonna have, and they won't like glitch out with anything. Well, they're gonna glitch out if you get a lot of them, but they won't like get pushed back or anything. They'll just stay out right there. Like I'll show you in the cave spawner, cave spider spawner. Um, now you want to place another one right there. Should have bought more signs. I think we're good actually. And then do that. Yeah, should have bought more signs. Dang. Let me build this part, and then I have to go back to the house and go get some more signs. Sadly. Wait, actually. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I'll, I'll just continue with what I'm doing. Get some more water. Now you want to come up here. Why not? This part right here, too high, and yeah, right here. Okay. Okay, this can be confused. Okay, okay, that's. I'll come back to you guys once I get that part up there. Mine, guys, I got it done. I, I got, I got that part done finally. But luckily for me, I have the mine shaft right next to me, so I can just go get some wood, and then I have to go all the way back and got some more um, signs. Always bring extra stuff extra items of what you have because you never know how much items you really need you never know if you may over like you know you never know never know always bring extra items but what you do is well if you're building it all the way up I think you build it 20 blocks up I think and then you have them come, come over and then they fall 
I think that's that way. But and then like you just one punch him. But I'm using the crusher way, which is like it. I, I like this way better. But yeah, I placed that one back down. Thank you. Didn't mean to do that, but I mean it works. But yeah, they come this way. They and well, luckily this stream runs that stream and it just goes straight up. So yeah, I'm not touching my controller. And well, actually not, not I am because they jump up. They'll be jumping, and then you place a um sign right below the. Like, yeah, you just place the sign right there. This water current, take them right here. You don't want want that right there. You put a sign right there so the water doesn't keep going. And well, this is where they fall. Luckily, you take no fall damage. They take no fall damage, so the, I can do it perfectly. But, yeah, the, that's pretty much it. Pretty much it for right now. I have to go in there and take out the light, actually. In a little bit. Oh, yeah. If you guys are wondering what this, uh, this is, this is for, this is for the, um, for a chest I have up here. I don't know if you guys saw it. But I put all my stuff in here that I had that I was carrying, like, the pistons and all that kind of stuff. That's what I put up there so I can have more room right here for the only items I'm using at this moment. So, yeah, they fall right there. And then, yeah, I'll get to the redstone. Let me just take out this room. Make it. I don't want to get it looking good yet. I'll do that at the end. But yeah, I'll get to the redstone. Yes, got the room dug out. In roll. Um, actually, I was um. Never mind. Never mind. Okay, let me just tell you how far back you need to dig it back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven back, and um, as long as you need it to go. To go. So you just need to make sure the room is at least seven, seven black. Wow. Seven black. That makes no sense at all. Make a seven back, okay? Now that makes more sense. Now you want to go ahead and grab a button. Grab one button. Yep, that's it. Right there. And then, well, actually, let's, let's go to the actual setup of the actual stuff. You want to bring three hoppers. Um, one hopper is for, like, whenever the mobs drop. So stuff and land in the hopper and then to a chest. That's what that. That's what the third hopper is for. The other two are for the for the for this part, for the crusher. Okay, now here's what you want to do. You want you want to just place one like that, and then you want to squat. Okay, you just want to squat like this. Place it like that. See if you see. I, whenever I was standing, I placed it. That part right there. If you guys, here's a little hopper tutorial. If you don't know how to use hoppers, never that little part right there, whatever, wherever that little block right there is facing at, that's the way it's going to go, okay, so if I, uh, if I threw, see there's nothing in them, obviously, if I threw that right there, it's just going to stay in it, because it has nowhere to go to, but if I threw this, if I threw this in there, it's going to link up, it's going to go straight to this, see, that's a little hopper tutorial, now let's get back to it, okay, now you, yeah, you just do what I just said, Break this one now. Squat again and place against that. You want to have them going to each other like that, okay? And now grab. Let me replace. No, no. Let me do that. Yeah. Now you want to grab any um any block of your choice and place it in the corners, okay? Just just do that. Place a redstone out there. Grab a comparator. Do like this. And um, if you want to, you can like just take out this block or something. Cause you have to place that there, or just jump, try to get it, and you want to face, you want to make, it, you want to be facing towards that way, not towards the hoppers, but towards that way, and just look down, and place it, and that's that's that part, okay? So it's you're almost done. It's pretty simple though. It's not that much redstone. It's pretty simple though. Let you guys know that. Now, you want to grab regular piston, okay? You want to place it right here. You don't need a squat, just place it. No squatting. You don't need a squat. Now you want to make sure that there's no, that there's an air block underneath that. Pick up those. I like cobble. Cobble is useful. Now you place a sticky piston. Remember, regular piston up there, a sticky piston right here. Yeah, like um, on my um, spider spawner, I have it flipped because of like I did it on a different wall. So yeah, just yeah. Um. I don't think you need an air block underneath this one, but just do it. 
just go ahead and put an air block underneath that. Now grab your b bedstone. You have a block of bedstone, and you're gonna place it right there. Okay. Now we're getting closer. Okay. Now let's stop at this part and put these pistons right here. You wanna take up these right there, and you wanna just place like that, and then replace those cobblestone blocks. S simple as that. Simple. And then you're just being two co two whatever block choice of doors like that. And then place a repeater right there. If that's not there, just leave that. And just do that right now. Um, now you want to bring this like that. Because, well, you'll see. You'll see. Let me, uh, let me... No, okay, now, now. I'm just trying to remember from the tutorial that I watched. I'm trying to show it to you guys in this one. Now you want to, I know that you want to put 15 blocks of your choice into this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Okay, there you go. And then that, it, it, this is a timer, if you guys didn't know. This is a timer. And well, let me link this up to, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let me bring, put that right there. This right here, this right there. And yep, there we go. Okay. Yep, I think we're good. I think we're good. Let me um block that off for right now. Okay. Um, let me hit that. Pretty sure I miss missed something. Oh wait. Okay, guys, I'm sorry. I'm such an idiot. I'm an idiot. I found out what I did wrong. It's right here. You don't have a torch right there, duh, because the torch keeps it keeps the best online going. It doesn't turn off anything. I forgot that's a button. I I'm so used to using lever levers. That's why. Okay. Now we're good. Now it's all set up. It's all good now. And remember, you put in just 15, okay? 15 blocks, but any block of your choice. It doesn't matter, obviously. And then, well, this is all that it's done. You don't have to put... You don't do that. You don't do that. You just have it linked up straight up to it, okay? Like that, okay? I'm going to head and stay right here if you guys need to... Okay. If you guys like, just need to look at it really fast, I'm going to go really slowly around. So if you guys... Just take an image of it. Because, like, whenever I'm watching YouTube videos, I have to always keep going back and forth. And try to get to the right time where I need to be at. Whenever you just watch this right here and know where to go. Just watch this and see how many redstone you need. And, well, yeah. Well, let's make it work. Hit it. And then, yep, it should. There we go. See? There we go. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. And here's an addition that I'm going to add it on. Well, first, um, I should have. Yep. There we go. You don't need trap chests. It's just, I just went and had two trap chests. And I went and just grabbed them. You can have regular chests. doesn't matter. Um, place these right here. Remember, with the, po with the hoppers, squat. And now it's going straight into it. So watch. Obviously, there's nothing in it. So that now it's in there. See, easy, easy. And now for this one, for this one, like they're just gonna keep coming and coming and coming. I'm gonna thought of an idea. I'm gonna head and uh, put a sticky piston right there. Nope, not like that. Let me do this. Crap. Oh, squat. No, I didn't just do that. Um, right there. There we go. There we go. And then you put that right there, grab a lever, and don't fall in water. Oh, I think you could. There you go. And then it'll do that, and that will stop from other skeletons falling down. That's what I thought of. I mean, it would be useful. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's good. Um, but yeah, guys, this is this, but first, let me go ahead and, um, this out and also guys this this really sucked i didn't have any wood my, my pickaxe is broke and i had a freaking dig this is all cobble by the way and i had to dig this with my hand it took forever and i finally got up there i have flutters up there as you can see but i didn't make enough so yeah just have to use a just jump in place method right now so guys let me take out the oh my gosh i left my buckets at the house did i Dang it. 
Oh, it's no big deal. Here, let me just replace that, and now um, I'll come back and I'll go ahead and just make this room look much more better than what it does right now. It just looks really plain. So yeah, let's see if I can do it in a snap. Okay, guys, I got it. I finally got it. Okay, well, I got the room all nice and good. And well, I actually found out that because I was as I was like as I was like building this room, whatever. I was thinking, I wonder if the skeletons have higher hearts, has more health than the cave spiders. Which, given that one bigger one smaller and stuff, and well, you can see how efficient this is. Ooh, ooh I like you. I'll see you later. But. What I went ahead and decided to do was, um, actually, I had had a mess around with it, but I finally got it down to 25. It's 25 blocks, not 15, 15 for case fighters, and 25 for that, okay? And well, this has been a long video, I'm tired, I'm not going to show you the guys the cave spider one, but it's just like this, just, it's exactly like this, except for that part, and the 25 blocks. Let me place this. But yeah, I went and got some slabs, some some sandstone slabs actually is what that is and stone i was gonna put lava right here but i didn't have enough lava and i feel like going down caves and stuff and finding it so that's good but yeah and see look they're gonna lag out but they're harmless they can't do anything to you you can punch them but that one's probably gonna die so <laughs> yeah let's let's watch it do its thing wait and this thing is actually really useful watch wait let me see if i can get those ones i don't know if they're gonna the gun? Yeah, and it went. Okay, now just do that. Okay. Box them off from anyone else. Any of them all. Of any of them falling down again. There you go. Can I get this in? So, let's do this thing. I think one may die. Or a few. That was weird. Why does that few of them die, but not all of them? I don't know if they like stack up, they like glitch up, or then they like one starts falling and they all fall or something. I don't know. That was weird. But yeah, that's gonna happen. Like some of the items are gonna fall out. May need to make the hoppers, small hoppers around. You yeah, just mess around with it, you know, have fun with it. I'm not gonna use the looting. I mean, I want to, but I'm not gonna. But, oh yeah, we already got power, power, one bow. This is really useful for people that go to nether a lot. So yeah. Just punch them. You, it's good if you have food on the, um, on you, by the way. Oh, just play. Let's see what it is. I'm just gonna have food, because, um, <clears throat> you can go through food a lot. If you're, like, just punch them and stuff, if you're on hard, it's best to do this on hard mode, because more and more and more of them come, and you'll get a better chance of get, getting a power something bow, and getting, like, an enchanted chest play or something. But yeah, guys. This is my tutorial on these skellies. So you guys, I hope that you guys like this video. Please comment, comment down there at the bottom for me. Hit that subscribe button. And guess what? I'll see you guys next time.